Hello everyone, this is JD Calderon, and this is Indie Comics Explained, or The Comics Degenerate, still have yet to choose a name. Been away for a few days, I actually went on vacation, went to Vegas, uh, California, we went to the Grand Canyon in Arizona, so you know, we did a few things, and we did all that in the course of like six days, so it was really fast, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun though. Hung out with some good friends, and when I got home, this lovely box was waiting for me. So let's go check it out and see what's in here. Just remember, what I'm doing here, cutting towards myself, is not what you should be doing with a knife. But I'm trying to be careful. Safety first, as I say. Let me go. So let's put that away. Let's see what we've got. <coughs> It's always great to see how well they pack these things like that. Just a brick. Brick of books. It's just an invoice, we don't need that. Baltimore, I've been looking forward to that. Lucifer, oh, I'm the bus. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Oop, stuff. Right. So let's see what we got. First things first. From the Sandman universe, <clears throat> Lucifer by Mike Carey and Peter Gross, Ryan Kelly, Dean Ormston. <clears throat> There's a forwarder here by Neil Gaiman. Introduction by Mike Carey. <clears throat> I actually have all these in trades. And I've been looking forward to this format forever because I've been wanting to reread it. <clears throat> and I just didn't want to go back and hit my trades again. I've just been waiting for this format. So I'm very happy this is out. I'm really looking forward to reading this. It's an awesome book. Mike Carey is an incredible writer. So, yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Next, we got Baltimore Omnibus Volume 1 by Mike Mignola. Christopher Golden, Ben Stenbeck, and Dave Stewart. Now, this is the first of these. I just ordered the second one. I've never read any of these, but it falls in the Mignola verse. So, you know, along with Hellboy, BPRD, that sort of thing. So, looking forward to it. There's just one more thing to add on to that list. So, looking really forward to that. Okay, let's see what else we got here. into this. It's one good thing they shrink wrap everything. Keep it all nice and safe square. Okay. Right, so let's see what we got here. Warren Ellis, The Wild Storm. So this is the fourth volume. Yep. I have the first three. Really enjoyed them. So that's how I'm continuing with the series. Look Warren Ellis, you just really can't go wrong. He's been doing great stuff for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years. So <clears throat> this is uh, something I look for, I've look i been looking forward to for a while. So this is definitely something I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to be looking forward to reading. And Department H, or Depth. This is the second volume of uh, Omnibus. And Matt Kint. I guess his wife, Charlene Kint. Um... I really enjoyed the first volume. Looking forward to reading this. I don't know if there's a third volume. I don't know if it continues that far. But if there is a third, I'll definitely be picking it up. It, as long as this holds up, and I'm 99.9% certain it will. Uh, this one, um, uh, what is this? Algernon Blackwood's The Willows by Nathan Carson and Sam Fort. <clears throat> don't know what this is. Just took a punt, saw it on previews. I said, hey, you know what? Once in a while, you got to give something a shot. And that's what I did here. And looks pretty good. You know, some funky black and white artwork. You know, nicely detailed. So, you know, hopefully it, it'll be good. So, you know, I'm looking forward to, to reading that. Uh, this is Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen's Ascender, Volume 1. So, they had a series called Descender, which completed 
its run. And this is the aftermath. I think this is probably 30 or 40 years in the future after that story. And I guess what's going on, I don't know, with the current characters or civilization or whatever. I haven't gotten, I haven't read it. Just got this as the first volume. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, the one thing I love about this is the art. It's all uh, watercolor. And it looks fantastic. This is just, you know, a great book. So, really looking forward to that. Gogor. Ken Garing. Uh, this one's out of Image. So, you know, I just thought, hey, you know, let me give it a let me give it a shot. You know, most of what Image puts out I tend to enjoy. Not everything. But, you know, you got to, like I said, give it a shot. So, Simon Spurrier and Matthias Bergara, Coda, Volume 3. So, I have the first two volumes. <clears throat> really enjoyed them. Love the artwork in here. And the story is uh, funky and weird. Kind of the, like the way I like it. Simon Spurrier, you know, hits the right reader bone in me. So this is a really good book. Um, I don't know how long the series will be running. <clears throat> I just hope, like any good series, he'll have a conclusion at some point and he'll bring it to that close. You know, in, in its good time. So <clears throat> looking forward to reading... More volumes, looking forward to reading this volume, so we'll see. Okay. Black Hammer, Streets of Spiral. Jeff Lemire, D Dean Ormston, Emmy Lennox, and a whole bunch of other folks. Okay, so this is just a continuing series of the Black Hammer. Uh, okay. So I think this is a, a side story, so I'm not really sure. I don't think this continues the uh, regular series. I just think these are a bunch of side stories. But still, there's Jeff Lemire. The guy is an excellent writer. I have nothing but faith in that guy when it comes out to, to his writing and the work. So I'm looking forward to really reading this. And another Jeff Lemire, Black Hammer, 45. You know, funky artwork, as usual. Again, really looking forward to reading it. <clears throat> looking forward to, uh, you know, experiencing some more Jeff Lemire stuff. I said a bunch of excellent books uh, this month. It was a great haul. <clears throat> Fantastic books, a lot of reading, you know, and yeah, just a bunch of great books. So if you ever want to, you know, oh, that's that's a beast right there. You know, a lot of fantastic books here though. So I'll be doing reviews on these eventually. <clears throat> so thank you so much. If you like what you heard, you know, just, uh, you know, hit that like button, subscribe. I also, uh, if you want to read some of my own work, I produce the Oslo Chronicles. And currently I have an Indiegogo going on currently, which is very good for new readers to the series because it's offering up the first three issues in the series over again. And with some very uh, cool looking alternative covers. So if you're into alternative covers, I think you might want to give it a look. Has some really nice covers on there. <clears throat> Hit the link. And uh, thank you so much. And I'll be talking to all of you soon. Have a great day.